Hello there, I am Giant Girl and welcome to my 7th ever Let's Play, Super Mario Brothers 3. I'm so sorry that I couldn't do this as a Let's Live stream series, but I'm going to do it as just a Let's Play then. So it's Let's Play number 7, let's watch the intro real quick. Oh, we got some, we got an airship here. That's pretty cool. Airships are fun, I guess. Oh no. This can't be good. Oh no. It's a coupling. I think that's Lemmy if I were to guess. No, he took his magic wand. And he turned him into a snake. No. A king snake. The king turned into a snake. Dear Princess Peach, I have terrible news. Those evil couplings are spreading chaos. Okay. Mori's like, I'll do it. Yeah. Me, 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 I'll, 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 I'll restore peace to the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah, Luigi's like, okay, I'll come, I'll go with him, because he's my brother. That's basically what it is. Princess Peach will just wave goodbye like that, and there we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we just showing off that I can do, like, a farter jump. It's kind of cool. So this is Super Mario Advance 4, the Super Mario Bros. 3 version for the Game Boy Advance. Let's do, a uh, Multiplayer guys, we can't do multiplayer, but I'll do single player. Yeah, I'm gonna be the top game, of course. Jeez. Yeah, and here's the curtain rising and stuff. Mario and Luigi playing around. Yeah. This is like a little play, just like the original Super Mario Brothers 3 for the NES. Just like the original, it's like a play. They're playing, they're passing back the show and everything. It's pretty cool. When it comes back and hits Mario. Oh no! Yeah. So there's a Koopa. And yeah, we can get started. Um, I'm up to level 3 in my practice file. Let's do file 2 for um the the Let's Play file. And I'm just gonna do the, I'm just gonna do Mario mode, not Mario and Luigi. Cause then they sh cause then I have to switch between Mario and Luigi. I'll just do Mario. Just for the sake of having like the most lives on one character. And having it like split with Luigi. Okay, so if you press L, it'll be a backup stash that can only use uh, your stash of items that you can only use before le any level. You can't lose like during the level if you become small, like in Super Mario World. It's a little bit different. Now, R is um, R is a demo card and power up card. Um, I'm not sure what these things really do because I don't really use it. So there's that. Um, I guess we can start with the first level. Uh, for each uh, for each part, I want to do half a world. Because so after the fortress or a castle, you'll be able to save and have a save point. So I'm just playing. I'm gaming. I actually, I actually did a. I actually um, tried tried doing Super Mario Bros. 3 earlier on my channel back in like 2012, 2011, but it didn't quite work out. But now I'm gonna try to tackle it full on and uh, try to get it, try to beat it, you know? Because I've never beaten either Super Mario Bros. 3 for um, Game Boy Advance or the or for the NES before, so this will be. Pretty cool. Again, I th I'm I have enough practice where I can definitely get up to board four, but after that, I don't have any more practice. But of course, in between these little videos, I'll I'll, I'll um practice more and um get more familiar with the world five, six, seven, and eight, basically. Okay, here's a one up. If you fly up here, you can get one up, of course, and get a lot of coins too. If I can get this right, that'd be great. If I can do this right, um, if I get right about there, yeah gonna fly all the way up to the top because I want to get to this pipe that has a lot of coins in it so yeah let me just do that it's in a shape of a three there we go nice and if I go back I can get more coins which is right here okay I think there's a pet yeah there's people at the right here nice and I'm just gonna finish the level. If you run really fast and jump like that, you can definitely get a star panel. But it doesn't always work all the time. At least in my experiences. So, yeah. So yeah, on to level 2. Let's do this. I really like this music. So yeah.
Okay, hold on, I got. I can just whack this block with my tail if I can get time it right. How is this not working? There we go. Nice. Now instead of going down the pipe, I want to get this one up right here. Because it's more... Well, I think I can even get the... Well, can I get to the... Can I get the... Um, the um, tube from right there if I like run and jump? Let me try. Dang it, I messed it up. Yeah, if the flower guy isn't... If the, if the piranha plant guy isn't there. Yeah, okay, okay, I'll just skip on the coins, whatever. There's a power up, so that's pretty cool. And if I jump right here, and I think this one's a star man, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Again, we just run and jump. There we go, guy, and a star. Awesome. This is level two. Level 3 is next. I think there's a secret in this level too with the whistle. Which I'll show off how to get that if I'm thinking of the correct um, you know, level. Which I'm pretty sure this is the right level. If you go um, right here, there's a little hidden block. It'll lead you to coin heaven, so that's pretty cool. Coin heavens are always really nice. I think if I um, run and jump, I can get like a 1-up though. Dang it, hold on, I have to do it again. Here it is, nice. Got it, nice. You can get like all these coins and stuff too, which is really nice. But wait, don't finish the level quite yet, because there's actually, this is how you get the whistle, which is a warp whistle, which is like the warp sense in this game. If you just have to hold down on the D-pad or whatever, and uh, my D-pad on my game controller is always small, so I'm accidentally lifting, not pressing down all the way, so I just pop back up. But yeah, I can go behind the scenes. And uh, be careful, because I think you can still get hit by enemies, just have to walk it out. Nice. One toot on this whistle will send you to a faraway land. Nice. So we got one whistle. Nice. It's nice. Our first item on our stash. And we gotta get our second item in the stash right here. Pick a box, its contents will help you on your way. I'm gonna pick the metal box, I got a leaf, awesome. Cool. Now it's level 4, I think you want to collect as many coins as you can in this level. So it's best that you do that. Because you get like a white mushroom house, which I think actually leads to P-Wing. Which a P-Wing is like a raccoon leaf, but you can actually fly infinitely for one level. And then after one level, it turns into a regular leaf. So that's pretty cool. Got it. One up. Nice. I don't usually get the, um, I don't ever really get the, um, you know, the, um, this white mushroom house. But that's okay. If I can try. Um, Yeah. And there's a power back there. Here's another one up right here. Um, also, I, I just collected it's a couple like 30 seconds ago, I should say, maybe even less than that. I collected 100 coins. Every 100 coins you get, you um get a one up. Oh no, I died. I died. No. Well, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my leaf because I want to be um. I have my leaf again, or I get an, like a couple extra lives now for making up for that life I just lost. Dang it, I forgot those. I forgot those these panels. Like as soon as you touch them, they drop automatically. And I touched it, and I was trying to get all the coins in that line of coins, but um, it didn't quite well work out for me. Okay, there we go. I got the one up there. There's a couple one ups, and I showed one other one up so far. So that's pretty cool. I gotta be careful though. I get all these coins right here. Got this one up, nice. Okay. Gotta be careful right here because this is where I died last. Here's some coins right here. Don't know if I might be a couple of coins short actually. 
and that's all the coins, right? Okay, yeah. I don't know if I got the white mushroom house, but I'm pretty sure I was like a coin or two off of it, I guess. Dang it, I didn't get five up either. Because I didn't get the star. Three stars, but that's okay if you... Um, I think if you get three mushrooms, you'll get a two up. If you get three five stars, you'll get a two up. And then if you... A three up. And then if you get three stars in a row, you'll get a, um... You'll get a... Uh, five up. So yeah, line up the pictures and get a prize. You can only try... You only get one try. So I'm really bad at these. I'm gonna try my best to do the best I can on this. So yeah, I'm gonna try to match a mushroom here. Nice. Oh, but the other side pictures don't match. But I think I'll get a two up if I get this right. But I could be wrong. Um, yes, I got it. Nice. Two up. Nice. So you have 15 laps now. That's pretty cool. And here's the fort your first fortress where you fight Boom Boom, which is a mini boss. But I'm gonna actually show where to get the where you get the um the um not the whistle actually. So yeah. Here's some waffles. Yeah, we always call them waffles for some reason. At least I do. Yeah. Okay, I gotta take out this dry bones, and I'm gonna fly up all the way up here and run. Dang it, that didn't quite work. I'm gonna hit the dry bones again, just so it's knocked out for that period of time. And then you wanna fly all the way up here, and then you go all the way to the right, press up on the D pad, or whatever your up control is for your controller. For me, it's the D pad. And you get another whistle, nice. Yeah, and would you like to save at this point? Yes, I would love to. Saving. Okay, so, um,. With that said, this has been the, f that's the end of my first part for Super Mario Bros. for the Game Boy Advance. So yeah, this has been Dragon Go again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye. And I'll see you guys in the next part of my Super Mario Bros. 3 GBA Let's Play.